I'm Dr. David Hogan of the University of Calgary, and I'm the Calgary Site Principal Investigator. I'm also a member of the Clinical Working Group. The Canadian Longitudinal Study of Aging is an important study because aging is an important issue facing Canadians, both from a biological, a clinical, but also a population basis. And in a way, this is our country's RRSP, investing in the future so we all age better. And as a society, we thrive uh, with an older population. Well, I'm a geriatrician. Um, my interest is in aging, the clinical aspects of aging. I've been particularly involved in um, dementia, cognitive impairment, uh, falls, frailty, and really all the clinical issues which are common as we get older. The aim of the Canadian Longitudinal Study of Aging is to look at um, those factors which promote healthy aging and those which might lead to less healthy forms of aging, which um, characteristics earlier in life kind of predict people who will do well but also who may encounter problems and hopefully if we understand that better we can intervene and prevent problems like dementia as we get older. Well one uh, unique aspect of the Canadian longitudinal study of aging is the longitudinal aspect and following people over a long period of time. Another unique feature is it's that it's a Canadian study and we're looking at what ha is happening in our own country and we can look at the social context of aging in Canada. I hope that the Canadian Longitudinal Study of Aging will tell us some of the first or earliest signs of impending problems as it relates to cognition. And because we're going to follow people over time, we can see if a person who has this particular characteristic is more likely to do well or more likely to encounter problems. So we can look at, at the earliest changes, look at the trajectory of cognitive abilities as we get older, and hopefully that will inform us in ways we can intervene and promote better brain aging. But to me, healthy aging is the ability to cope with the challenges we're all going to face as we get older. It doesn't really relate to uh, an ideal state of perfect health, which is unrealistic for most of us, but it's really the ability to cope with challenges and minimize the challenges we do face. I, I think I'd like to uh, acknowledge the debt we owe our, our parents, our grandparents, and the study is being partly done in respect of them, but also has been done for our children so we can uh, hopefully have a better life for them in the future and that they'll age better and in more personally rewarding fashion.